Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about joysticks and direction buttons on fighting game controllers or rather controllers you can use for fighting games. And for this video I have three guests. One is a DualShock 4, the other is a Razer Raiju Tournament Edition and that over there is an Xbox One controller. Now why I brought out these three controllers is because they offer variables on their direction sticks and their joysticks. We had first the Raiju which is a PlayStation 4 controller and if you compare it to the DualShock you notice that the position of the directional button and the analog is reversed. The Raiju took to the placement similar to that of the Xbox rather than standard PlayStation location. Now for fighting games you may wonder which is better the analog or the directional buttons. In my experience I have used both extensively and it comes down to feel although if you're playing character like Zangief that requires a 360 this is much easier to pull a 360 off but for inputs like sure you can I find this directional type button is more consistent but what I will say if you're going to opt for the joystick opt for the one that feels comfortable in your hands personally I prefer my joystick to be in this position just because of how I hold my pad but if I hold it like this and if I rest my thumb in this position it allows me a more fluid motion like if I want to go forward it goes with my natural hand movement like this and going backward like this so it goes forward back up and down but if I'm using this you notice that my thumb is pointed more upwards and that for me feels wonky and makes hitting down a bit more cumbersome than this one as this one allows a lot of space and a lot of finger angle than the thumbstick being here. That is my only pet peeve for joysticks. As for directional buttons, they come in three flavors that I've seen so far. We have the PlayStation 4 version that is basically um, internal like there is no you can press the middle but there's a little space compared to this one that has a lot more space and a dip if I bend both controllers oh the camera picks it as you can see the Raiju has a dip in the middle some people like that but I do not because problem is if I press if I put my finger on it as you can see I have to apply a consistent downforce to get to the down buttons so performing a show you can for me is weird because of the dip in the middle like if I place my hands I have to like roll on along these edges to hit my buttons for some people they might find it useful like having maybe a finger in here and moving the buttons which feels better but to me it feels awkward so like I said it depends on you because I have big thumbs Personally, I like these types for directional buttons the most as everything is on top and you can just rest your thumb and have easy movement. But ultimately, with directional buttons, a lot of issues stems from these edges right here. Because if you're performing half circle, quarter circle, your thumb tends to get caught in between these things. So to alleviate that, you can purchase um, thumb covers for joysticks, which makes it a lot easier. But let me just display this with a cloth nearby, 
a little cloth. So the thumb thing goes over your thumb like this, and it allows your thumb to like breeze, like breeze over the buttons more smoothly, rather than get stuck in the edges. So ultimately, I would say go for comfort. Because essentially, a comfortable pad is one that fits in your hand. PlayStation 4 DualShock tends to be a light, and some people don't like the feel, but it doesn't really bother me so much. Raiju is heavier than the PlayStation 4, but Xbox. <laughs> Uh, uh, slightly heavier okay you feel about the same except that Xbox you can modify that by uh, getting different weight of batteries in there or you can just yank off the battery and just direct plug it to reduce the weight of it so basically that's it so I hope this helps you make an informed decision when grabbing your first controller for fighting games. Although any controller will do, if you if you have if you already have one of these, they they will work if you practice with them. But if you find any discomfort using these or these, just get the finger get the finger. Um, what's it called? I'm gonna I'm gonna find it and put a description in the description is like a thumb sock for controllers it's really helped so that's it and uh six minutes has passed holy shit all right take care guys if you have any questions feel free to ask if there's any any other stuff that you want to see let me know in the comments and i'll see you next video